We all have USB chargers around the house. However, not all USB chargers are created equally. The Evotronics PD Pioneer here features three ports and a maximum of 65 watts output. All in a footprint that's not much bigger than a 21700 here that I've got in my hand. You can see it's shorter than that. Diameter is a little bit different here, but you can see it's not very big. This uses gallium nitride technology to be this small. And to put that into perspective, how much 65 watts of power is, you can charge a modern laptop in your smartphone and tablet all at the same time. Thanks to them for sending this to me to look at and review. I'll have links to it down in my socials below. And it is on a pretty good sale right now. So if you're interested, it'd be a great time to pick it up. So really not much to talk about the packaging here. It is a very small box. It says it's they were born in Paris. I question that a bit. Other than that, that's it. Doesn't come with a cable. It comes with a manual that's very, very short, simple. Not much you need to know here. Size and weight here. I measured it at 2.59 inches long, 1.5 depth, and 1.32 in width. And it comes in at 4.32 ounces. And I'll compare it to some other chargers here. I've got an Energy 60C. This is a 60 watt charger. You can see it's just slightly smaller, but it is less powerful. I've got this Aki charger here, which I believe is 45 watts. It's two ports, two USB-C ports. I have this uh, Xstar EU4, and this is 64 watts. And you can see how much bigger this is here. This is 65, this is 64, much, much smaller. And this isn't a huge charger. So those are the ones that I brought to kind of compare it to that are that I've done reviews on on this channel that you can see. One of the benefits of the smaller size is that it fits onto a normal power strip or wall plate pretty well without blocking other ports. I will say there are a few other chargers in the market with very similar looking designs as this one. Anchor has one with the Nano 2 65 watt, as does Bezos and Ugreen. So I'm not sure if these are all the same model or just a design that led similar to a similar footprint. I'm guessing it's more that than they're all designed by the same company. I guess the other thing on design that I want to note is the foldable plug here. That's just really nice for travel. It doesn't get caught. makes it a little bit more compact. You do have all your markings on the bottom that tells you what everything is and outputs are along with all your required markings. You've got your three ports labeled and that's about it. To understand the power and performance spec here, it's going to get a little bit complicated and I want to show you as I go here. I've got a lot of wires, so let's get this started. I'm gonna plug in my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra here. I've got this plugged in on the charger to the second PD port. Now that noise let me know that this is ultra fast charging. It was at 21% and it says it'll be charged at uh, and in only 29 minutes. So that's really fast, but that's not all. Let's keep adding to it. I've got a, a Sofren LT1 Mini here that I'm gonna plug in and it's making contacts and you can see it's got a speed up here in its charging rate, but it's only charging at 0.12 watts. That'll improve here in a minute as we go. Okay, instead of the flashlight here, I'm gonna plug in this power bank here, and this is running off the USB-A port, pulling 2.5 watts. And then I also have a laptop plugged in here off screen. It's pulling 22 watts. So all these combined right now on my kilowatt is measuring 41 watts. Again, it's hard to get a full 65 watts. The laptop's not completely full. It's not turned on, it's not open. So that's gonna drain some. These two should be charging pretty quick. But what I wanted to show you was that this intelligently power shares and allocates that power. That's really important because you wanna get the maximum out of all your ports and the maximum the charger can do. The charger's capable of 65 watts, but it doesn't mean that it's always gonna output 65 watts depending on how you have things plugged in. So on the top port here, you can pull the four, the full 65 watts if your device is capable of it. So that would be probably a laptop, maybe a really high-end phone that's completely dead. I know on my no Ultra here that to get that maximum charging rate that they say, you can only get that maximum charging rate that they advertise in the Ultra, which I think is like 40 watt for, it's literally like the first minute. It's, it's kind of dumb to advertise it that way. So that you can get the full 65 watts on either USB-C port if that's the only thing plugged in and you can get a maximum 18 watts on the USB-A port. If you're running two ports at the same time, you have 45 watts on the top and bottom USB-C. If you're running two devices on the USB-Cs, you can run 45 on USB-C one and 20 watts on USB-C two. You can share do 45 on, watt, on port one and 18 watts on port three and 
port two and three can share 15 watts. And if you've got it plugged in like all three devices like I've got it here, the top port does 45 watts and the bottom two share 15 watts. So it's an interesting combination here to mix and match. And you only have to do this if you're nerdy. Like I said here, this is pulling 50 watts now, the way I've got it configured, but we'll mess around with that and get it probably to pull a little bit more. So there's quite a few power specs that all this can support. It includes the PD 3.0, PPS, QC3, of course, Apple's 2.4 protocol as well. And I ran my CT2 tester on it, which doesn't support everything, but it sports quite a bit and here's what it showed. I'm not 100% this is accurate, so don't take my word of salt here, consult the manual. The PD1 port does the Apple 2.4, the PDC 1.5, QC3 up to 11.6 volts, QC2 up to 12 volts, Samsung's AFC up to 12 volts, and Huawei's FCP protocol up to 12 volts. PD2 is the same except for Apple's 2.4 amp, and the QC port is capable of the Apple 2.4, DCP 1.5, QC3 up to 12 volts. So my final thoughts are here. Currently, uh, the charger here is about $20 before tax. I think that's really a good bargain for what you're getting here. It appears to be well built. I have no complaints with it. It does get warm when in use, but you'd expect that for something that's this power dense. I've been using it close to two weeks with quite a bit of charging on all types of devices, battery chargers, flashlights, laptops, power banks, cell phones, iPads, you name it. And it did well with all those, no complaints. I think this is a solid recommendation and a buy for me, especially as more and more things go USB-C. Those extra ports and especially high power ports are really great. I think this would be a great addition to anyone's travel kit, home charging station, or just overall charging setup. So let me know guys if you've got anything from Evotronics or if you think you might pick this one up. Right now there is a coupon, like I said, I'll have links to that below on where you can pick this one up on Amazon and check it out. Let me know what you think. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next review.